Today we did a procedure on Oscar, our sea turtle, to try and determine what the nature of his extra buoyancy was. The way that he rests in his posture in the water is abnormal for sea turtles. And with his hind end sticking up literally out of the surface of the water and his head down the way it is, um, it makes him more cumbersome when he tries to swim and dive and what have you. We did uh, two basic procedures today. Under general anesthesia, we were able to take what's called a bronchoscope and go down the trachea or the windpipe to where it splits or bifurcates into the two bronchial tubes. We're able to go down inside the bronchial tubes and determine that the lung tissue looked fairly normal and we didn't see any tears or damage to the rigid tubes that run through the lungs. <laughs> There's nothing in there that makes me think we could go in that way. Okay. Right, let's prep for endoscopy. After that, we went ahead and flipped him on his side and performed an endoscopic procedure where we made a small incision into the side of his body cavity. We were able to insert uh, a large, what's called rigid endoscope, and through that, able to visualize what the tissues looked like in there. I was fortunate to have a good relationship with Dr. Shane Boyle, and he is the veterinarian at the South Carolina Aquarium in Charleston. He has obviously a lot of experience with sea turtles that have been injured and hurt, not to the chronic nature or the long-lasting condition that Oscar has had, but basically came up with his expertise and some of his equipment to give us a really big hand on trying to figure out what was going on with Oscar. Everyone likes turtles as a kid. They're really interesting animals. Uh, people just attach to them. I know I did as a kid. Every time you saw one hit on the side of the road, you wanted to fix it. So that went from being a six-year-old, now to a 45-year-old, and doing the same thing, I'm just trying to make their lives better. If sort of a synopsis of what's gone on, it appears that Oscar has formed what's called a bulla, or a large airfield sack that is outside of the lungs, but yet attached to the lung through some sort of communicating structure, whether it's a tear or a rent, and it's probably extremely chronic. Animals that have received boat strikes or have been damaged by dredging or probably actual trauma from sharks can develop these bulla, but they're very, very new and what we call acute, so in, in a relative sense, much more easy to repair because this one has been probably in existence for literally the 15 years at least that he's lived here from when he first suffered his original injury. It's much more difficult to break down all the membranes and the scar tissue that's associated with the original injury. I won't hold any air at all. It's got a leaky tire, guys. Difficult to determine exactly where the tear through the lung wall is that causes that bulla. But our hopes are that by doing this surgery and alleviating some of the air-filled sacs in there, it might go ahead and improve. I've heard so many different stories of people that connect with them in different ways for different reasons. Like anything, you want to see the best that can be done for them. My first thought about doing all of these things is just thinking about getting him through whatever it is that we're doing, but then once we get through it and I reflect back on how so many people have been over backwards just to help us out and brought all their equipment here and it's just amazing how people are willing to help out. He's definitely got a certain level of celebrity.